like to get the best deal when we go shopping, right? Well, to be a good educated comparison shopper, it's nice to know when one coupon is better than the other. Well, say you go shopping and you have a $10 off coupon, but you also find there's a 15% off coupon. And guess what? They work out the same. So one isn't better than the other, they're equal. So how do you figure out like what was the original amount of what you were buying that would make $10 equivalent to 15% of something? So you need to set it up as an equation. We know you get $10 off and what else equals $10? 15% of the item. Those are the same. Because they're the same, we can express them in terms of, terms of being equivalent. Whenever you're given a percentage, it's essential that in order to work with it, you first have to convert it to its decimal value. 15% is 0.15 of 100 out of a whole for a whole dollar. And, and percentages don't make any sense when they're by themselves. They must be paired up with some other value because this 15% can't stand on its own. It's 15% of something else. The word of in math means multiplication. So 0.15x means whatever that original value is, I multiply it by 0.15 and that gives me its value. When we do that, we know it's 10 ten dollars so now I need to isolate well what was the original amount I have to get X by itself because 0.15 is supposed to be multiplying by X to get it off of X I have to use the multiplication property which means I am either multiplying or dividing in order to get a number off of X the original process is multiplication so I have to do the opposite in order to cancel it out so I divide both sides by 0.15, which 0.15 divided by 0.15 is a 1, and 1x is just an x. But then I have to do that on the other side. And when I do that, I get 10 divided by 0.15. And when I put that into the calculator, I get 66.666 indefinitely. But what are we talking about? We're talking about money. So that means there are two decimal places when dealing with money. And that means I look to the penny value and decide is that gonna stay a six or does it need to round up? I look to the thousandth value and since that's above five, that means the six rounds up to a seven. So X equals $66.67. So it's about making two values that you know how they compare to each other equivalent in order to solve for the one unknown.